Today we are making a video on Kenema Linux which is based on Debian New Linux and here is the boot menu of Kenema as you can see this is to boot in a live mode and these are few other options uh, it's not an English language but uh, we, uh, we, go, we are going to still try it so let's boot it in a live mode it's going to take a minute for uh, uh, it's common in a Linux distro uh, for taking a minute to load up a desktop layout so we should be getting a desktop layout in a minute or uh, for maximum of a minute and a minimum of uh, 30 to 40 seconds it's going to take uh, there are three or four desktop environments available xfce gnome kde plasma and lxqt and i choose the xfce version for a xfce desktop environment and the version of a Kenima is a 7.1 uh, we should be getting our desktop layout in any seconds here is our mouse pointer uh, looks like uh, it works properly and uh, here is the desktop layout of the Kenima 7.1 let's first quickly change the display resolution and I'm running on a virtual machine uh, which is a VMware with 40 GB of hard disk 4 GB of RAM and uh, two processors so let's uh, quickly change the language we can't change the language but uh, we can uh, change the display resolution I'll just keep the uh, default language I'm not going to change the language so let's try to change the display settings first if it's available configurations and uh, it should be like somewhere here I guess let's scroll it down I think that's the display it's XFC so and uh, my display is 1920 into 1080 let's see if it's available or not 1920 into 1080 is not available uh, let's uh, go let's stick with the uh, 1316 to 768 which is also 16 is to 9 ratio the quality would be not that much uh, good but uh, we need to uh, choose a thing because we don't have the 1920 into 1080 resolution so as you can see the quality of the uh, Linux distro is not uh, good because we don't have our resolution here uh, we can uh, type in the command and get the display resolution but I don't want to do that so let's first uh, choose the system monitor and uh, let's find out how much resources are consumed uh, before opening any apps here is the CPU which is almost uh, touching like 50% uh, nearly and the processors are 268 and the RAM is almost 1000 MB of 4 GB I already mentioned that I'm using a 4 GB of a hard uh, RAM in the virtual machine this is all these are all the processors running right now processors and uh, this is the CPU and the RAM you need to remember this thing because I'm going to open it again at the end of the video and uh, you will be having an idea of how much resources are consumed uh, after opening the apps so let's close this and let's open the terminal command and type in few commands uh, of the distro info because we need uh, the info of the distro uh, for example inxi-sv8 is the command to INXI uh, the keyboard should be changed because of the language so it should be like a question mark I guess dash sv8 INXI dash sv8 let's type in command once again INXI dash sv8 and hit enter command not found no problem let's type in neofetch if it's available neofetch is available os is kanaima new linux 7.1 imavery the code name is imavery and the kernel is a uh, 5.10 uptime is 3 minutes uh, display is uh, 1316 to 768 and desktop environment is xfc 4.16 which is the old version the latest version is like a 4.18.4 like that and these are the few info if you want to read you can read it let's type in htop if it's available htop 
and here is the htop our tasks are 78 and these are the few info if you want you can go through this let's check the version of the terminal which is a 0 0.8.10 so let's close this thing and uh, let me show you their official website and let me show you how to download the distro from the official website we launched the firefox browser it's going to take a few seconds a maximum of uh, 10 seconds and here is our uh, web browser and it automatically opened their official website nothing you need to just type in kenaima new linux distribution and you will be having their website let's type in, in the search bar which is uh, kenaima linux and hit enter and we should be having our website and this is the website which is software software libri.gov.ve let's open the website i'm using a vpn and the website uh, takes a few seconds to load up so you need to have that idea that i'm using a vpn uh, this is the website uh, and this is the url if you want to type in directly you can type it in or you can uh, just use the search term as i did and uh, this is the website if you want to read it you can read it no problem take a time take your time and read that uh, uh, important things if you want i think this is the download they need to change the they need to give like a translate like something like that this is the download and here are the download links you, as you can see i already mentioned that there are four desktop environment which is a gnome kde lxde and xfce instead of lxde i said lxqt i'm sorry for that and here is the four desktop environments you can download i choose the amd64 which is a 64 bit and they are also have a, a I think the, the LXDE and the XFD, XFCE has the 32 bit uh, uh, ISO files. If you want, you can download that. So, just uh, clicking on the uh, your O architecture, it's going to uh, start the download. So, as you can see, here is the download started. So, let's close this thing and let's check the Firefox version and uh, close the web browser. It's a 102.8 which is also the old version the latest version is like a 113 which was uh, announced or released uh, uh, today i guess and here are all the pre-installed apps which comes with uh, kenaima 7.5 linux as you can see these are all the common apps uh, which are available in kenaima and let's see what is this i think this is a restart I don't know maybe it should be like a desktop like a windows 11 and here are the desktop features as you can see a notification battery volume internet connection can we change the language here we can't change the language is and this is the calendar and time a lock screen and a logout uh, all these things you already know that too uh, let's see if there is a installer Let's first check the XFC version, which I already showed, but uh, once again. So here is the XFC one. And uh, let's check the, I think, it, let's check the installer if it's available. There is no installer, I guess. I don't know, it's only available in live mode, I guess. We can't even change the language. I don't know how to change the language here. Uh, we can't even choose the language at the boot up or in a boot menu this is a gdb let's open few apps and uh, check their versions because we need the uh, version of the apps is there a software manager here i don't think there is a software manager here maybe this should be a software manager it's not it's a uh, uh, desktop settings which you can change the backgrounds there in it i think this is the 
software manager i guess it's also not the it's an appearance uh, setting i don't know how to it should be in the systems here is a snaptic package manager let's open the snaptic package manager i guess it's a snaptic package yes it's a snaptic package manager let's quickly drag this thing and check the version uh, the snaptic version is a 0.90.2 the latest version is like a 0.91.30 like something like that i'm just going to drag it down speed the installed one will be highlighted green and the version should be here so if you want to uh, watch that in a slow you can change the youtube settings to 0.25 which is available in youtube app or youtube uh, the settings thing change the speed to 0.25 and you should be seeing the installed versions so let's close this thing let's check the about panel about panel is a 4.16.2 so let's open the file manager which should be like a thunar file manager i guess a 4.16.8 that's good i think it's the screen capture i guess or a camera it's a screen capture okay and this is a finder and a document a actual document viewer i guess let's check the version that about that too 1.24.0 what is this caliber a library office espanol we want to change the english but we can't change this this is a pdf reader english let's first check the library office because it opened quickly 7.0.4.2 which is the old version the latest version is a 7.5 like that Click on next. This is going to take a lot of time. We don't want that. Let's skip the thing. Cancel. And let's see what are all the apps still available here. Let's open few apps and check the version. Now let's open Inkscape because uh, some people need to know the Inkscape version 2 Inkscape opened pretty much uh, instantly which is a 1.0.2 the version it's not the latest version but uh, it still works so that's the available version for the Canima Linux distro I think we covered everything I guess in the app side have you opened LibreOffice the version should be same in everything do we have a GIMP we don't have a GIMP I think that's it. Here is a GIMP, I guess. GIMP image editor or a manipulation tool. The version should be 2.10 and uh, the something like that. Let's open and check the version 2. There's nothing more in the uh, Canima Linux, so that's a common, just a common apps. Here is the about 2.10.22 is the GIMP version I think that's it for the video I guess because there's much there's nothing much available in the uh, what you call the in the Linux distro just a few apps ebook reader and uh, other common apps you will see in the uh, every Linux distro so nothing special in it just a language uh, for the it's a Debian based so uh, it's uh, we don't even have a uh, uh, language selection in a boot menu it's uh, a problem for some people like who, who only know the main language as an English so it's pretty hard for them even it is for hard for me because I can't figure it out what is going on here so these are all the options uh, let's end this video before ending this video let's uh, check the system monitor because we opened a lot of apps not a lot of apps but, but uh, just few apps and here is the uh, RAM which is almost 300 MB of consumption is uh, completed I guess at the beginning of the video it was like a 950 and it's now 1.2 GB which is almost 300 MB uh, people who know this language which is uh, Spanish I guess 
uh, you can uh, easily use this Linux distro and uh, as you can see CPU is also at a uh, 40% CPU is going crazy almost like a touching 50% nearly uh, we, as you can see there is a high peaks here and there uh, occasionally not uh, continuously and the memory is almost 1.2 GB I didn't open that many apps, apps I guess I like uh, 4 to 5 apps but it's still good in the RAM type uh, I think that's the uh, main thing here so let's close this thing and open the Firefox browser and uh, let me show you my channel this part is only for the viewers who want to watch my content without subscribing people who already subscribed no need to watch this uh, you can skip that thing I just type in youtube.com uh, slash or fallen slash 9 to 5 linux uh, to visit my channel uh, if you are using a web browser let's, uh, let me first quickly uh, this is the url you need to type it in in your web browser if you are using a mobile browser or a tab browser or a tv browser if you are using a youtube tab just type it in 9 to 5 linux in the youtube app of your tv mobile or a tab it will directly take to my channel so click on enter it's going to take a few seconds because i'm using a vpn so and my channel should be uh, available right now i'm going to post two videos daily without missing any day so check that out too and i'm going to show you the timings of uh, what timings the videos are available so i post two videos daily without missing any day so i mentioned this thing i'm posting from uh, five to six years like from that day uh, just uh, like a two or two days uh, two or two three days off i took break that's it and this is the timings you need to visit at these timings and the videos will be available before the timings because i'm going to put the videos in a premiere so you should be having an idea of what the videos or the what the content is uh, uh, available that day and here is the community i'm going to post the latest uh, releases of distribution and the packages all those things important info will be available here if you want you can uh, check that out too and if you are here only for the uh, linux content just go to playlist and uh, linux playlist you can see here linux and view full playlist here i'm just uh, uh, here is a view full playlist i almost made like a 1542 view 48 videos uh, and i covered almost like 70 to 80 percent of uh, various and different types of linux distros in this world so i made all these things i covered every linux distro if you want to you can play all or shuffle so let's go back and you can even type directly the search term or the favorite linux distro or you can type the title of the linux distro for example like a mx linux and there the, the here are the videos which are available and the latest versions will be here i'm going to uh, i'm uh, i will be making a video as soon as the iso files are released whether it's a alpha version or a development version beta version whatever it is i'm going to post as soon as the iso file released or announced so you don't need to wait for something you should be getting the uh, videos instantly so if you want you can subscribe if you don't want you can do that it's clearly up to you i'm not going to force you i'm respecting your opinion so let's close this thing and end this video I think that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out. That is the sound of the Linux distro. It's not from me. It's from the Linux distro.